Um, so what is what is this period been like where you've you you've taken over the starting job, Dave's coming back, Dave's not coming back, you're just kind of stuck in limbo. I guess how have you handled all that? Um, I'm really just, you know, living in the moment and taking one day at a time and just having fun with everybody out there. There's so many guys, so many tackles in this league that have years of repetitions against some of these guys that you're going against for the first time. How do you make up for the fact that, you know, you, every guy you face, it's the first time you're facing them? How do I make up for that? Yeah, what, what, I mean, they, those guys have so many reps against those guys. You can't obviously replicate that. So what do you do to make sure you know what guys are doing? Uh, just study the game plan and just have the confidence that my like the offensive line and my my teammates have my back and I have their back and just going out there and executing. Steve McGargy. I guess it's still uncertain whether Miles Garrett is going to play or not on Saturday. I'm just wondering, just looking at him on tape, what is it that kind of sets him apart, and how much difference does his presence make to their defense when he's in there? Um, I, you know, he's. They have really good, you know, really good uh, edge setters, uh, Clowney and uh, Garrett. And, you know, I'm just, once again, just really excited to play on Christmas. Another opportunity to go out there and put on the G. Um, you know, if he does or doesn't play, I'm just excited for the challenge. Whoever is out there, be able to go out there and show what I got. Wes Hodkowitz. Hey, Yash, I'm just wondering how things have gone, you know, developing that rapport next to John and, and just how you've kind of felt that chemistry develop over these six starts, being able to work next to him. Um, you know, what house is that we both have the same mindset coming in on every given Sunday alongside with the other 10 guys on the offense. And, you know, our obligation is to dominate and, um, you know, with that mindset going into every game, it just it clicks. So for us. Dave Schrader. Hey, Ash. Uh, so much attention has been paid to the all pro David Bakhtiari and your very talented teammates, Elton Jenkins. Do you feel like you're earning some respect personally, though, based on how you're performing, not being viewed as a backup anymore, but maybe being viewed as a really, really productive left tackle? I'm just, you know, once again, taking it one day at a time. Uh, just really just let everybody else decide that. I'm just out there having fun, just taking it one day at a time, just playing for the pack. Jason Wilde. Yash, I'm going to ask you the easiest question you've ever been asked. How do you pronounce no, your name, name correct? How do you pronounce your name? Because I feel like it's pronounced a bunch of different ways, and I'm tired of getting it wrong if I've been getting it wrong. Okay, so my name is Yash Nyman, J Silent. Nyman is a Dutch last name. They don't pronounce J in that language. And first name's Yash, full name Yashua. So then why does Rogers call you Nishman? Is there a story behind that or what? Um, uh, I think, you know, I personally didn't, like, really, like, articulate what my name was for the team. So everyone was just saying a figment of what they thought it was. Um, <laughs> but you know, my, my, the J is silent. So it is Nyman, Yash Nyman. Bill Huber. Yash, is there a thing or two that you can put your finger on, um, that you're really proud of yourself since that first start against San Francisco that you've really grown in X, Y, or Z? Um, well, I, I would just say that, you know, I'm proud of myself and contributing to the team, um, the way I have and just, um, I'm just grateful, once again, I'm just grateful to, to put on that helmet and be in the NFL and play for the Packers. Like, it's, it's really like, a, really a dream come true, um, given all the circumstances and, you know, I'm just grateful, really grateful. Mark Daniels. Hey, Ash, happy holidays to you. Um, have you taken any practice snaps at right tackle? And if Dave comes back, uh, would you uh, would think be amenable to moving over there if you were asked? Um, wherever, you know, Coach Daniel needs me to play, then I'll do it. Um, once I said again, that's kind of the mindset for the offensive line, you know, no drop-offs. So, you know, whatever is required and asked for us, that we go execute that. So... Uh, and to answer your question, I'm open to whatever the team needs. Jason Wilde. 
Hey, yeah, uh, you know, we've heard so much of your attitude of gratitude. I mean, Devontae telling us about the, the game and everything else back in San Francisco. I'm just – I know you got a lot of work to do still. I know you got a lot of games to win. But do you ever have those kind of personal moments where you do stop and, and take stock of just how far you've come and everything you've done to help this team this year? Uh, I think, you know, every given Sunday before the game, I, I, I really do – sit down and have time to reflect on all that going into the next game kind of I feel like almost prepares and like prepares my mindset and like my my emotions and everything to go out and play uh you know with that same drive and same gratitude as the first game or the first time that I played the Niners earlier this year